really got into the lab, I found I knew about how to do nothing regarding cancer research. I mean, I screwed up every single procedure, like I'd sneeze in my cell flask or blow them up in the centrifuge. I was a terrible cancer researcher, but by the end, I was like moderately good. And so after screwing up all those scientific procedures, I finally ended up with that one small paper sensor that worked. And where is that now? Where is that idea now? Are you patenting it? So I have filed both a US patent as well as a PCT application on that. And so that's to make sure that I have intellectual property over this uh, technology all over the world. So, and then hopefully I'm moving forward with some companies soon. I'm in negotiations with them about getting on the market as soon as possible. Why did you decide to go through the patenting process? How did so, you learn about it first? At 15, I don't know that there's a lot of 15 years old that, that uh, know what a patent is. So um, I really just guess that patenting was kind of this part that I thought, well, I guess I should patent this because it's my idea. And in order to bridge the gap between proof of concept and actually getting it to a patient's bedside, from bench to bedside, you need a massive amount of financial incentive. So that patent's providing that such that the private community will actually invest in your idea. Because when I license this, for example, to a company, they want to get a return on their investment. And so in order to do that, I have to have a patent. And so that's one of the best things about a patent is it really incentivizes the private community to bring it from bench to bedside. Were you advised to do it or did you come up with the idea yourself? I came up with the idea to patent it myself. So me and my mom first tried to like make a patent. That didn't go over too well. And so then we went to a patent attorney and it was actually a lot easier than it sounded.